kwa hiyo unayuse the human resource pius nikikaa naye karibu naweza nikachat naye kwa kuongea na nini na nini nikamweleza what i'm doing atasema okay kuna someone namjua anafanya hiki na hiki ana ni link kwa hiyo nadhani tuwe tuna habit ya kufanya connection unajua kuna mitaji zaidi ya mitatu kwa ki, kwa, kwa un, when you, 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 you do something kuna human resource sawa ambayo ni mtu unajua wewe unaweza kawa ni mtaji pasipo kujua yani wewe unaweza kan link na mtu ambaye atanipa mimi mtaji au information inaweza pia pia ikawa ni mtaji umeona lakini pia uh, kuna mtaji kama mtaji ambao unaweza tunasema hata hao wa mentor pia elimu elimu pia ni mtaji unaweza kawa kwa mfano kama mimi hapa Uh, nilikuwa sijui how to pitch you see you see my video are pitch yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so missing ya ku pitch yani jinsi ninavyoenda na nini and i was kwamba sina confidence ya kusimama na nikasema maybe na pitch katika presentation yangu lakini kupitia ndoto hub walitufundisha jinsi ya ku pitch unaona nikaenda katika mashindano competition ambayo yalinitaliwa na ES ya life tulikuwa almost kama if watu if moja na watu wengi ambao nikutana nao pale walikuwa tayari ni experienced day wamesha pitch na nini so nilikuwa naogopa lakini nimesimama nikaongea watu wakaona nimefanya vizuri hatimaye nikawa mshindi wa kwanza so nikaona kwamba uh, bila ndoto hub kunifundisha how to pitch ile siku ile maybe ningesipokuwa mtu wa kwanza kwa hiyo i think pia training nayo yenyewe ni mtaji yani ukipata mafunzo au knowledge inakupelekea kupata kitu yes even nilipokuwa Uganda Kampala unajua i was afraid maybe naenda kukutana na mtu wa mali Bukina Faso Niger hao watu sijui unana nao wako vipi you see so, nilikuwa I'm so, i was so nervous and curious so, but nilipoenda ku interact nao nikajiona oh i'm in good position you see yeah, yeah. yeah. kwa hiyo i think kijana kama kijana cha msingi ni kutafuta information lakini pia kutafuta fursa uh, ku go beyond what you expect kwa mfano una matarajio gani yani kama una ma, uh, I mean, una malengo yale malengo kuyafikia ni lazima uende with the process yeah sante sana kijana mtanzania umemmsikia kijana mtanzania mwenzetu ambacho anatuambia concept yake nzima ni kwamba kwa maana ya maarifa ili ujengeke kiakili lazima upate maarifa na ili upate maarifa jikubali kujipendekeza so mbaya jipendekeze kwa ajili ya maarifa yani kujipendekeza ni kuzuru usijipendekeze tu jipendekeze kwa ajili ya maarifa tofauti na haya mambo mengine forget ambavyo watu wengine watakavyosema watakavyokuona lakini kikubwa ni kwamba unapata connection na watu unafata fulus, unafata fursa unapata unafata wengineza wanasema opportunity seminar ziko nyingi ni wajibu wako tu hii dunia umekuja peke yako unaishi mwenyewe utaondoka mwenyewe na maisha yako daima wewe ndio uko responsible ku pay life bills maisha gharama za maisha yako ni wewe mwenyewe au sio ile ni utaache na neno moja tu zuri ni Tanzania ipi ungependa uamke kesho ukichukutwa unaiona na ukaridhika kwamba yes nao tuko kwenye Tanzania Uh, ningependa kuona Tanzania we come with creativity and innovation kwa sababu i think technology Tanzania with technology Tanzania ni technology yes Tanzania with technology big technology so, like parties yeah, maybe yeah, i want to see the yeah yeah mbona mwana swali lake la mwisho mwisho tunafunga mic ile pale imewashwa endelea 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 Helen, sasa hivi vijana wengi wamekuwa sio kwamba wanataka tu kuajiriwa na mind flani wanataka hela. Kwa kijana anajua nitaajiriwa lakini target yake kubwa nini ni hela. Sawa na ile status atakuwa nayo lakini target yake nini ni hela. Hatuna ile kitu ambayo tunasema I have a passion to work for the community. We don't do that. Hatufanyi hicho kitu. Watu wengi tulivyo. Hatufanyi kitu kwa ajili ya jamii ile tunafanya kitu ile ubinafsi ndio ndio maana inachangia nini watu wengi kukuta upata maendeleo unakuta tunarudi nyuma asa ili unadhani nini ili kuondoa hiyo kitu kichwani kwa vijana ili kuondoa hiyo idea vijana wafanye nini na ni umri gani kijana anapaswa aanze kujiajiri mwenyewe ukia yani ukiangalia elimu yetu ya Tanzania ilivyo kila kitu kiweke constant ni mda gani kijana anatakiwa kujiajiri Okay, uh, sante kwa swari. Um, 
I believe for the question one na naamini mafanikio huja kwa kile unachokipenda. Sio leo umemwona Helen anafanya hiki, akafanikiwa kwa hiki na unataka kufanya hiko hiko. No. Mafanikio huja kwa kile unachokipenda. I believe on passion. So, um, kijana kama kijana inabidi uji evaluate wewe ni kitu gani ambacho unaisi unaweza ukakifanya uh, unaweza ukakifanya na unakipenda. Uh, kuna watu ambao umesema kama kusema wana, wanafanya kazi pengine hawazipendi ni kwa sababu tu wanataka wanataka, wanataka hela, hela. Mm. lakini kama kuna wanataka kupiga hela fanya kile unachokipenda usiangalie the limitation maybe someone hataki imradi tu kiwe ni kitu ambacho ni salama kisio kitu cha kialifu yeah, <laughs> yeah. usiangalie the limitation kwamba someone anapendi nifanye hiki someone fanya kile unachokipenda afusubili watu waone You see kwa sababu um, okay vijana wengi nadhani kwenye age ya teenagers penda kuwa mwanamuziki. <laughs> Nipenda kuwa mwanamuziki au mwanamuziki. Yaani ukimuuliza kijana, "Ah oh, unapenda nini? Wasichana napenda mitindo." Ya, yeah, napenda mitindo. I think that is sio kila mtu anapenda mitindo. Ni kwa sababu tu, yani kuna kuna theory ko. Yes, kuna theory kama napenda fashion. Ya, napenda fashion. Yaani ipo hivyo. Uh, even me I was like napenda fashion na ni nimesha waishona kafanya designing it's just because napenda fashion yani yani kuna kama mind kako hapo katikati kwenye umri wa teenager kwa hiyo i think pia kusoma vitabu kuna kitabu kinaitwa how to unleash your potential i think kinaweza kumsaidia kijana kuweza ku discover ho kitu gani ambacho una ambacho unacho Okay. Even you can okay, you can YouTube unaweza kaji evaluate wewe ni kitu gani. Unajua kuna mwingine anajitambui kwamba yeye anapenda nini. Yeah. Yaani ukimuuliza okay sasa so, yani sielewi, yani sielewi. Hata mwenyewe nisijielewi. Kwa hiyo sasa tujielewi na. Yeah, kwa hiyo inabidi uanze kusoma ze um, kwa unajua kwenye ukiingia kwenye psychology utakuta ubongo una pati mbili, unajua eh? Yeah, unakuta una ubongo una pati mbili. Kuna watu wawili wa, wa, wa darasani, unajua eh? Kuna watu ambao huaga wao wanaperform sana. Tega my genius. Unajua eh? Lakini kuna huyu mwingine yani yani hata asome vipi. Yeye ndo asome vipi unakuta ana fail. Lakini kuna mtu ambaye ni knowledgeable na intelligence. Huyo mmoja darasani. You see, umeshaji kujiuliza kwamba kuna watu ambao darasani walikuwa umesoma nao walikuwa na maakili sana lakini sasa hizo kaangalia life yao yani ni normal yani life yao ni kawaida tu wengine unakuta ni eh pengine unawaajili kabisa yeah. so unakuta this person alikuwa ni knowledgeable ana ability to acquire the information ambayo anaipokea kutoka kwa mwalimu lakini unakuta kuna yule ambaye darasani alikuwa yani ye, yani wa kawaida tu anataka kilaza lakini akiingia kwenye mtaani unakuta sasa hivi ndio amefanikiwa na anaweza kumwajili yule so this person is intelligence ana ability to apply the knowledge hana ana ile ability ya ku cream au ya ku hold the knowledge ambayo ameipata kwa muda mrefu ndio maana kuna mtiani anasahau lakini ana ability ya ku apply the knowledge in real practice you see so this person is intelligence and this intelligence person uh, this intelligence people is to now feel the feel and wako feel sana so it's just the matter to know who you are yeah. na kitu gani unacho work na kitu ambacho you are gifted unajua eh kuna watu wanaimba unajua kuna mtu mwingine ana uwezo wa kuimba lakini kwa sababu tu uh, family am support itabidi afoce afanye kitu kingine lakini mafanikio yake yako ni kuimba ya kuimba kwa utazunguka mwisho wa siku utakuja yeah, kwa... wengine wanakufa na ndoto tunazika ndoto nyingi sana kutokana yeah. na family backgrounds mm. au the the nature ya sekolo kwa na tunazika vipaji vingi na tunazika pengine viongozi wengi lakini kutokana you don't know who you are hujaji unleash you see so you have to unleash your potential see who you are kama uwezi kujijua wewe ni nani read the book there's a problem with kusoma vitabu kwa watanzania yani ni tatizo atusome vitabu okay helen labda nikuulize swali la kizushi thamani Do you work for the community or you work for yourself? Um I'm um, for both. Sunday sana. Which is the greatest part, sorry. Um community. 
Yes, I'm always uh, passionate working with the community. I said the background in my volunteer. I was like to volunteer a lot. Okay. Sandy, sana kulinga na namda yote mtazama juu ya kuna kitu na kuambia Eleni. Learn to unleash your talent. Aya ni maneno ambayo pia alitoka kwa Halila ambayo alikuwa ni dada ambaye tulifanya naye interview ambayo alitufunza vitu vingi sana kama vijana. Yeye yeah, anachoamini ni kwamba kila kijana ni ni, ni, ni legend ndani yake. Kwa ujifunze kutafuta nafasi, kutafuta ule legend ndani yako. Kwa hiyo anasema ni muhimu sana tukajifunza kuwalish ndoto zetu, tuzitoe ili uweze kukunufaisha kwenye maisha. Ele ni eh, nakushukuru sana kwa muda mzuri sana wa interview na imekuwa ni interview nzuri. Wewe najua ni mwongeaji hatuwezi kumaliza leo. Mtazamaji wa Jitapoe Forum nikwambie huyu dada ana madini, mimi namjua pia. Lakini tutaenda kutengeneza documentary ya kila ambacho anakifanya ili at least anapo alipokuwa anaongelea kuhusu mambo ya recycling basi ukaelewa kwamba E, anafanya nini lakini nadhani so 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 uh, ni vizuri tukafanya kitu watu wengi lakini na nadhani ni vizuri ile ni akatuacha at least na vitu vile vitatu ambavyo yeye anaviona kama ni opportunity katika afya wewe umesoma afya si ndio na kwenye afya kuna nafasi nyingi sana em tukiwa tunafunga mtazamaji wa jitambue forum mimi nakukabidhi kwa ile ndio anatufungia kipindi eh mimi nikirudi hapa nakuja kumaliza na mwanzoni tulikuwa tunasema tunamaliza lakini bahati moja nzuri unavyojua interview zetu ni za mazungumzo zaidi kukatokea na maswali mengine ya ku yenye ambayo yana yenye umuhimu wake na amejibu vizuri ile ni mimi ili ni langu la mwisho kabisa na nadhani hili ndio tunafungia kipindi tuambie opportunity ambazo unaziona wewe tano au ngapi au chache aidha iwe kwenye afya nyingi lakini kwingine popote pale ambazo unaziona kwamba kijana wa Tanzania sasa hivi akizishika hizi zinamtoa Okay, kwanza opportunity ya kwanza nitaongelea kwa wote. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, hiyo itawatenga ambao sio wafi. <laughs> <laughs> kwanza um uh, ukiingia kwenye website search uh, opportunity deck. Mm -hmm. So through that website utapata a lot of opportunity to apply. Yeah. Yes, unajua uh, kuna opportunity nyingi sana zipo lakini watu hawajui kwa kuzipata. Ndio. So through that you apply then you just receive for your Result, if you are accepted or, or not. Yeah. Kuna opportunity nyingi sana ambazo zipo. Kuna fund, kwa mfano, uh, I mean, watu ambao wanatafuta fund for their projects. Kuna watu ambao World Bank inatua ila nyingi sana ambazo zimetengwa kwa dunia. A lot of billion zipo kwa jili ya vijana. So, unazipataje? Ni lazima uingie kuna hizo opportunity. Uh, opportunity for Africa, hii opportunity deck. Ukiingia even presto, or such opportunity, a lot of application will come for opportunity. Select your opportunity. Uh, and then, kwa sasa hivi, kijana na zani ange, angeweza kujua malengo kuminasaba ya dunia, that is what we are facing now. Mm -hmm. You have to work within the sustainable development goals. Mm -hmm. Then, I think uh, kuna masuala ya afya, uh, kuna masuala ya poverty, kuna masuala ya afya, masuala ya mazingira, kuna masuala ya sheria, masuala za haki za binadamu. So choose where you want to be and what you are passionate about. Then work on it. Asante sana mtazamaji wa Jitambue Forum. Nashukuru sana kutoka kwa Eleni. Leo ilikuwa ni interview nzuri ambayo bado tunaendelea kuletea series ya vijana ambao wanatengeneza vitu vizuri kabisa ambao eh, eh, kwetu kwe sisi kama vijana watizamaji tukiwasikiliza tunajifunza na tunakuwa uh, inspired kwa sababu wanasema hili tuweze kubadilisha hii mindset tulionayo ya kivivu lazima tuendelee kujifunza na kujifunza kuna kusoma vitabu kuna kusikia waliofanikiwa na kadhalika kwa hiyo sisi tunajikita hasa kukuletea wale ambao wamepiga hatua kutoka kwenye jamii hii hii ya Kitanzania ili waweze kukupa moyo na wewe ujue kwamba lile wazo lako lilonalo leo kilisimamia Amini litakubadilishia maisha. Tusiogope ili tufikie kizazi chenye ubunifu, lazima tujifunze kutoka kwa ubunifu wenzetu. Ili tuwe kijatengeneze tu, 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 jamii ambayo ina, eh, ina, 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 ina tunasema ina mind awakili chanya au uelewa chanya. Basi lazima tusikilize kwa wachana wachanya wenzetu. Kama anavyosema Ellen, jitahidi kutengeneza saiko ambayo ya watu ambao wanakuzunguka. Yaani tengeneza wale watu wanaokuzunguka wale ni watu ambao wanakusaidia kwa namna moja ama nyingine kuongeza au kupanua uelewa wako. Au sio? Mimi naitwa Pius Joseph. Ukiniingia kwenye Instagram eh, ni kudirect tu kwamba anaenda kwenye page ya Jitambue Forums, andika pale Jitambue Forums Instagram inakuja utufollow. Kwa pale kwenye page yetu, amini kwenye hiyo account yetu 
kuna link ambayo nakupeleka kwenye YouTube channel yetu ya Jitambwe Forums pale utakuta interview nyingi sana za vijana ni kushauri kitu kimoja tu kwamba fanya kusubscribe pale alafu weke kile alama ya kengele ili kila tunapo upload vipindi vingine vizuri zaidi kutoka kwa vijana kama hawa basi unaendelea kujifunza mwambie mdogo wako mwambie e, dada yako mwambie hata mzazi wako pia kwamba kule kuna vitu vingi ambavyo vinaweza vikamuelewesha kuna nafasi za kibiashara na nafasi zingine nzuri lakini pia nikiwa na kuacha ni kuacha na jambo moja kwamba nikukumbushe bado takukuru wanaendelea kupokea taarifa za rushwa kutoka kwa watu wote na bado wanawahimiza wanajamii kuchukua hatua katika kupambana na rushwa tunalichukulia rushwa kwamba ni swala serious sana kwa sababu linakuhamisha vitu vingi sana au sio ile unaamini hivyo yeah, yeah. na lazima vijana wote tuweke tuweke nguvu zetu katika kupambana na rushwa paka wakati mwingine mimi naitwa Pius tukutane tena wakati mwingine eh, kwa interview nyingine eh, kwa leo ni kwambie kwamba nikutakie wakati mzuri na Mwenyezi Mungu akubariki utengeneze uwe kijana ambaye unachukua hatua kwenye maisha yako au sio sisi tumechukua kwa maana ya huu uwanja wa media ile nikachukua uwanda uwanja wa, eh, wa wa engineering una nafasi kwenye upande wa sheria upande wa afya na sehemu zingine zozote zile bado nafasi nyingi haijalishi tuko milioni ngapi huu wingi wa watu ndio unaotupa nafasi nyingi sana kwa sababu mahitaji ni mengi sana au sio Asante sana nikushukuru kwa wakati wako mpaka wakati mwingine. Elena Asante. Asante. Kwa heri. Kwa heri.